And so coming to South Africa for greener pastures, we come and then realize that its good systems are designed for the citizens and it favors only the citizens and not foreigners. As a result of this, people go ahead and do illegal stuff only to make ends meet for them. This is what the citizens of South Africa see. And then they be like, hey, Wernie, I don't care. I don't care wherever country, whichever country that you are coming from. We see you as a brother. We see you as a sister. But if you are coming here to sell cocaine, if you are coming here to steal from our people, if you are coming here to kill and to do all illegal sort of manners here, then we see you as a hater. You are like an appetite. And so we don't like you. You go back to wherever that you come from. We will not entertain you in our country if you cannot respect our rule of law. Welcome to my channel. My name is Brad Jones and it's your only bra from Ghana living inside South Africa. Guys, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please kindly consider subscribing. Subscribe to this channel. We've got a lot of good stuff for you. We are showing the beautiful places in South Africa. We are showing the tourist sites. We are showing everything good. This channel is all about positivity. We don't have time for negativity. We're talking about the positive part of South Africa and beyond. You know, it's a travel channel. And so definitely we will travel outside South Africa and then go show Africa to the world. And possibly we'll be going to the world and we'll be showing the world to the world. If you are already a subscriber, may God richly bless you for patronizing and then supporting my channel up until today. I really appreciate. I can't thank you enough. God richly bless you. It's been a year and counting since I left Ghana to South Africa. And I must say, my staying here in South Africa has been awesome. It has been love living in South Africa and with South Africans. It's all beautiful. I don't know where you are watching this channel from. But hey, based on my own experience living with South Africans, it's awesome. It's all love. So today, I'm going to talk about why South Africa and South Africans are different from other African countries and other Africans. So South Africa is a dream African country to most Africans to visit, either to work for tourism, for holidays, or etc, etc. You know, people talk a lot about South Africa and South Africans, either for the good or for the bad reasons. And they don't understand why South Africans are different from other Africans. In terms of lifestyle, their mindset, the way they do their things, and their reaction towards other Africans moving to South Africa to stay. So countries like my own country, Ghana, Nigeria, and other African countries were colonized by the British, targeted by our resources. South Africa was colonized somewhere in the 1600s but was mostly used as a pit stop for the Europeans when they traveled. Until the Dutch decided to settle, a lot of blood was shed protecting this country from the Great British and the Zulu War, known as the Anglo-Zulu War, to fighting apartheid. To date, South Africans continue to fight like their ancestors did to protect their infrastructures and resources, which has helped in establishing and developing the country and has made it the dream African land that most Africans today want to visit. Fighting the apartheid was to make sure that South Africa was economically, politically, socially, systematically dominated by South Africans. Resisting the British and others from stealing their resources and taking over their land. Guys, when you watch some of the documentaries of the apartheid, you realize that it was kind of tragedy. They fought and toiled with their blood to make sure that they take over their land. That has made South Africa what it is today. And that most Africans call it the Europe of Africa. And they envy it. And then they wish to come and then live in this beautiful country. Because of the good fight that the ancestors fought for this nation, South Africa today has good systems in place for its citizens that they rarely travel outside in search of greener pastures. Sometimes it's even hard for a South African to leave his or her province and then go to a different province and then settle there. 
See, the systems are designed in a way that wherever that you are in South Africa, it favors you. And so you are okay as a citizen. Unlike my own people, Ghana, Nigeria, West Africans and other African countries who like to travel a lot and who like to migrate to South Africa and sometimes to the Western world in search of greener pastures to make a living for themselves and family back home. We travel a lot, more especially West Africans. We migrate a lot. I don't know which country in the Western world that doesn't have Africans or West Africans living there. I was talking to a friend the other time on phone and he was like, Charlie, in this country, now, this country, the five-year plan, the dream and vision of every citizen is to travel outside the country. I was like, ah! <laughs> but it's true, it's true. He wasn't lying. That's the truth. See, I am a Ghanaian. But why am I not living in Ghana, but living in South Africa now? And trust me, there are a lot of us here, especially Ghanaians and, and Nigerians mostly. Sometimes you walk in the malls, you go to the shops, you'll be walking and you see a person coming. You look at him and he said, ah, this person doesn't look like South African. You approach, you greet, and then he said, yeah, hey, I'm a Nigerian. He said, yeah, hey, hey, I'm a Ghanaian. <laughs> we travel a lot. Sometimes when I see that, I ask myself that, hey, how many South Africans do you see in Ghana in search for greener pastures? Or how many South Africans do you see in Nigeria in search for greener pastures? It's either you barely see them or you don't see them at all. Because South Africa is economically strong and has good and standard systems in place for its citizens. And so they barely travel outside. They are always okay in their country. Their systems are well structured, just like the Westerners. And so moving or migrating outside the country to live elsewhere is never an option for a, a, a South African citizen. For instance, a government teacher here in South Africa receives around 20,000 rents as monthly salary. A nurse, a government nurse here in South Africa receives around 20,000 rents as monthly salary. And those who work for the private companies, they receive good salaries as well. Because the minimum wage bill here in South Africa is so good that you can work for a private company and receive around 6000 receive around 7000 8000 10000 sometimes 15000 20000 rent, depending on your qualification and certificates. During the 2020 pandemic, most citizens lost their job. And so a structure was designed for them to receive an allowance at the end of every month. And up until date, those who haven't gotten a job yet are still benefiting from this allowance. Every month, they are receiving a salary. There is grant allowance for kids from 0 to 18 years whose parents are not having a job. There is grant allowance for older women. There is grant allowance for older men, and so forth. And so with this, how is a citizen going to think about leaving the country and going to seek for greener pastures elsewhere? There's no way. With all these good systems in place, how will the citizens think of living and migrating elsewhere? I am not trying to say South Africa is perfect. No, every country has got their own problem. Yes, and up until today, even today, there are still people in South Africa who are jobless and finding it difficult to get jobs. Yes, but it's not as bad as it is in West Africa. At least here, at the end of every month, they have a grand salary that is given to them, even though they are not working. Way back in Ghana or West Africa, it is not like that. Yeah, there are no good systems in place like that. Though we are not to blame our citizens. It is leadership problem. It is our leaders that are not putting these systems in place for us to benefit as citizens. So now most West Africans and other African countries tend to search for greener pastures in the Western world or sometimes in South Africa. Coming to South Africa for greener pastures, we come and then realize that its good systems are designed for the citizens and it favors only the citizens and not foreigners. As a result of this, people go ahead and do illegal stuff only to make ends meet for them. This is what the citizens of South Africa see 
and then they be like, hey, Wenny, I don't care. I don't care wherever country, whichever country that you are coming from. We see you as a brother. We see you as a sister. But if you are coming here to sell cocaine, if you are coming here to steal from our people, if you are coming here to kill and to do all illegal sort of manners here, then we see you as a hater. You are like an appetite. And so we don't like you. You go back to wherever that you come from. We will not entertain you in our country if you cannot respect our rule of law. And for me, I see nothing wrong with that personally because some of the behaviors and acts of some foreigners here in this country is a no-no. It's a no-no. It's a no-no. Trust me, most crimes that is committed in South Africa are committed by foreigners. Trust me, South Africans are very good people. If you come here with good intentions as a foreigner and stay clean, they will be very good to you. See, South Africa is not only known for its good systems in place for the citizens, but also good infrastructure like good roads, uh, tourist sites, skyscrapers. Everything is organized here in this country, especially in the cities like Joburg, like in Cape Town, Pretoria, Durban, even if it's a, a rural area, they have good roads there and infrastructures there are very good. There are good buildings there. This and many more we see and then we say South Africa is indeed the Europe of Africa. South Africa is indeed different from any other African country. Guys, thank you very much. This is where we draw the curtains. I say thank you very much again if by any means you found this video interesting kindly subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe and watch out for the next video whenever the notification comes thank you very much may god bless you may god keep you may god bless us all and make us all rich may the almighty god bless our handiworks remember that the almighty god has created this world and has given you power to create your own space out of it. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.